Thank you for choosing Easter New Gate, TG Series VOIP GSM Gateway. The gateway is used to bridge the gap between GSM network and VOIP. This video demonstrates the primary installation processes. The demonstration will take NeoGate TG800 as an example. TG800 have the interfaces on the front panel for your easy operation. On the front panel, there is a reset button, a LAN port, 8 SIM card slots, and 10 LED indicators displaying status of power, run, and GSM ports. On the rear panel, there are 8 antenna ports and a power interface. Connect antennas to the ports on the rear panel. Then plug one end of network cable into the LAN port and the other end to a switch. Next, insert the SIM card to the slot. The side with chip faces your hand. At last, connect the power interface of the device to a power source and switch on power. The indicators on the front panel show the working status of the device. A solid green light of power means the device is powered on. A flashing run LED means the system is working properly. A solid or off-run LED means something is wrong with the system. When the GSM port indicator is solid green, the port is free. When it is flashing, the port is in use. When the indicator is off, either the port do not have SIM card or a fault has occurred. The default IP address of NeoGate TG is set as segment 5. If your computer is in a different network segment, we need to change it for a moment. Open IE and enter the default IP address 192.168.5.150 and enter the login interface. Enter the default username admin and default password password. In the pull-down list of language, choose English and click Login. Click the System tab. Under LAN settings, you can change the IP address of NeoGate TG. Click Save and reboot the device to take effect.
When NeoGate is rebooting, we change the IP address of the computer to its original address. Now we log in using the new IP address. NeoGate TG supports safe peer mode. Users should be able to make and receive calls after configuring VoIP chunking and mobile to IP or IP to mobile routes. More details will be provided in the follow up video. NeoGate can be reset to factory defaults in two ways. Firstly, you can click System tab and find Reset and Reboot. Click Reset to Factory Defaults. Secondly, you can press the Reset button on the NeoGate front panel. You will find the run indicator stops flickering and turns solid. When the run indicator turns off, the button could be released and the system begins to reset. After reset, all of the previous configuration will be erased. <laughs> 